Hey guys, I'm Peter from Vugo TV. I've been doing some spring cleaning lately and we have found a rat problem. Here we have a highly prized mouse by Cyborg, which I'm really excited to review. They are a division run by Mad Cats, which specializes in gaming peripherals for various platforms. And today we'll be looking at the Rat 7, which is a gaming mouse designed for the PC. So, straight out of the box, this thing looks like a baby robot sent from the future. It has a very aggressive styling and design. Um, some people might find this sexy, some people might find this offensive, but at the end of the day, this thing stands out as it should, and this is what Cyborg has intended to do. As with any standard gaming mouse, you have your left and right click, your scroll wheel, uh, sensitivity toggle, your back and forward button, and the ability to change the weight of the mouse. But what sets this rat from the pack is that Cyborg has given its users full customizability over its physical features. And we're going to show you how to do that. Cyborg has done a great job giving their gamers a very unique customizable experience. As I mentioned earlier, the plates that your pinky and thumb rest on can be adjusted with this neat little tool that Cyborg conveniently put in the butt. Now, if you want a wide grip, loosen the screw and adjust as need be. If you have an abnormally lengthened thumb, you can adjust this forwards or backwards. If you have a monstrous hand and you need that length, there's a lever here that allows the palm rest to go back and forth. Just like that. Now if you're not happy with any of these configurations, the Rat 7 comes with an accessory box that gives you more options. And if you're like me and you're playing hours and hours of Battlefield, your palm is bound to get sweaty. And this is where the rubber plates come in handy. And if you're not comfortable with the rubber or that ridiculously big pinky rest, there's a default plastic fit. If you're super meticulous and you like to change your weights, there's a canister and you just finish popping out the butt of the mouse. As you can see, the Rat 7 can be configured literally a hundred different ways. So that sums up our review for the Rat 7. Um, I really appreciate where Cyborg is going with customizability. But one thing I think they can improve on is the plastic feel of the mouse. I play a lot of games and my palm tends to get sweaty and it's not comfortable having my fingers slip and slide everywhere. Having said that, if you want more information, please check out our blog at blog.google.com. Make sure to comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.